Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, today is the feast of the conversion of St. Paul. I would like to congratulate all those who use the spirituality of St. Paul and live under patronage of St. Paul. St. Paul was one of the chosen apostles of Lord Jesus. With the presence of St. Paul, the evangelizing work of the Church became extensive and documented. St. Paul made the Church realize that gospel proclamation was for all nations, not just for the Jews. The Church realized its universal character, and we here, who are not Jews, benefit from the awareness that Paul brought. Paul's conversion was the result of triple action. First, Lord Jesus who appeared to Paul on the road to Damascus. Second, Paul who had an encounter with the Lord Jesus and then become blind. Third, Ananias representing the church met Paul and baptized him so that his blindness was healed and his mission was established. This process serves as a model for us as we participate in the task of evangelization. The gospel is for everyone without exception. We are also sure that the Lord Jesus himself is still working to meet and reveal himself to many people on this earth. Personally, I often hear testimonies of the Lord Jesus meeting people who did not know him and leading them to meet representatives of the local church so that they could be baptized. St. Paul's way of working and his courage were extraordinary. His openness and obedience to the guidance of the Holy Spirit were also admirable. Truly, St. Paul is a model for every follower of Christ. He is an example of total repentance and an example of a fruitful believer who is faithful to the end. So we should not hesitate to proclaim our faith to everyone. We are called to be witnesses of Christ, not just people who preach without foundation. We experience that the Lord Jesus lives and in his abundant love, he offered that life to mankind. Like St. Paul and Ananias, we must be open to the work of the Holy Spirit, transcending the limits of knowledge and overcoming all our fears. We must allow the Holy Spirit to guide us so that we become fruitful and successful instruments of proclamation. May St. Paul be an example of boundless inspiration. If we are to follow Christ, let St. Paul be the standard by which we measure ourselves.